Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am pretty excited because I'm going to spill one of my best kept secrets and that's how to make an incredible dressing from scratch that is oil free but still tons of creaminess in it and full of nutrients and the paste is amazing. So if you're interested in watching and seeing how to elevate your salads with a homemade dressing, then I think this video is for you. The important thing about a good salad dressing is that it needs to be balanced. There needs to be a kind of fat and creaminess and then you're going to need some saltiness, some acidity, and most importantly, the sweetness. And this tends to be overlooked when it comes to making dressings. So this salad dressing base is going to comprise all of those essential parts, and I think you're really going to like it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And just a quick reminder, the recipe is in the bottom bar below. Okay, so here are the main ingredients you're going to need for your salad dressing base. This is my fat of choice, and I went with raw cashews. I soaked it. You don't need to soak them for too long. I just pop them in the microwave with a little bit of water and and uh, for about 30 seconds and then I let it sit for 10 minutes and it's good to go. Then we have some water. The sweetness that I'm going to use for this recipe is going to be some medjool dates and these have already been pitted, seeds have been removed. I'm going to throw in some hemp seed because I like to add a bit more diversity to my dressings and this is going to blend really well into the dressing. You're not going to notice it. It's just adding some more nutrition. Some fresh garlic and a little bit of ginger. It's about a half a teaspoon just to add a little bit of a kick. I'm going with white wine vinegar. This is the acidity part. And you don't need to do white wine vinegar. You can do regular white distilled vinegar, but I like the white wine a bit more because it has the higher flavor. And of course we have some Himalayan salt and black pepper. Squeeze of lemon just to bring this all together. Now, this is the base of your dressing. The thing that is going to switch up this dressing to a different type of dressing is my turmeric. I have about a teaspoon of turmeric in here. Instead of the turmeric, you can go with fresh basil or type of herb that you want to highlight, maybe cilantro. But what I showed you right now is the base. I love it because this dressing is so versatile and it gives you the flexibility to be able to play around with what you're interested in. Turmeric is a really powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. It contains something called curcumin and it's from the ginger family. Okay, we're going to be using the ninja and just because it's smaller and just holds the dressing a bit better. If you do it in Vitamix, it's a smaller quantity. It just kind of splatters all over the place. It doesn't get blent really well. So for smaller quantities, I like to use my ninja. So we're going to go ahead and throw in our cashews, our dates, our hemp seed, our garlic and ginger, our vinegar, our salt and black pepper, squeeze of lemon. Then to bring it all together, we have the water. Pop this right on. Make sure you get it nice and tight. A few moments later. So once your dressing is done, it's gonna be this nice beige color. If it's a little bit thick for your liking, you can feel free to add a little bit more water and it does get thicker as it sits because the nut fibers begin to expand and it does absorb a bit more water. So you can add a little bit more fluid if you want to be slightly thinner. So this is our beautiful dressing. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and add the turmeric and throw that in. So turmeric is more of a as tolerated kind of spice. If you don't like an earthy, musty flavor, you might wanna skip out on the turmeric and try some other ingredient that you like more. And now you can see it's this beautiful yellow color and it does get a darker yellow as you refrigerate it. And I like to use these squeeze bottles to hold the dressing in the fridge. Look how creamy that is. And then go ahead and pour that right in without making a mess, hopefully. Unlike other dressings, you wanna put more of this in your salad. Even though it's really rich and creamy, it's just so much nicer to have a lot of it than a little. And then there you have it, delicious homemade dressing that's packed full of nutrients, antioxidants. I'm kind of obsessed with this dressing. And now here's my salad. I have some baby greens, some fresh blueberries, avocado and pumpkin seeds. And there you have it, creamy wonderful dressing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that this might have inspired you to make your own salad dressings from scratch. The recipe is in the bottom bar below. If you like this content, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up and you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I post videos at least once every week. Thanks so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.